Okay, here's my High Flyer XL. On the very first rockets I built, it's a 24 millimeter rocket. I did, however, take the 18 millimeter D16, put an adapter in it to 18 to 24. I put a spacer in it, so now it fits into the E engine mount. So this should be a very good flight. Um, I normally fly this on D12s and uh, E12s, but now let's try it on a D16. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we're going to say going. Uh, Flyer XL33 is going to go with the D16 4. Skies are clear, the range is clear to launch. Watch the skies. Oh, that did not look good. Come on. <laughs> okay. It would have looked good if it was at a thousand feet up. Well, let's see what happens. matters worse. The only mud in the field and the rocket lands in the middle of it. Ah, oh, Jesus. Let's see what happened. Okay, let's see what happened. Well, you see this engine's quite a mess. <laughs> a rocket's a mess. I'm going to go clean it up and see what happened. Okay, I cleaned up the rocket a bit, <clears throat> but let's look at the engine. So the engine, um, a lot of it did blow away. So the nozzle this time did not hold. It's still some mud in there. But you can see there's some very, very deep pitting and a big portion of the nozzle broke off, blew away. So it looks like the CA glue works under most situations, but um, I'll probably need to use more of it the next time or treat it multiple times. Um, but this engine did not do well. It went up to about 100 feet, came down, and well, of all things, it landed in the mud. <laughs> the only spot of mud in the entire field. <laughs>